The world's population is growing faster than ever. We see more and more people living in cities and all that uh, is requiring higher levels of energy. So energy consumption, the water uh, and different uh, other natural resources are stressed. We need new technologies to more efficiently use those uh, resources in order not to consume the earth. And people want to live in cities, but in clean cities. Cities that have a good uh, air quality, cities where they can see their kids playing in peace uh, and being safe and healthy, cities where the water quality is good, where we have enough energy for everyone, where we work and live in a sustainable way. Sustainable city and sustainable city planning is, is one of the uh, huge issues because large parts of greenhouse gases, of course, originate from cities. Uh, Mega cities, uh, of course, also lead to a large increase of, of greenhouse gases. You have energy supply systems that, that kind of have to be up graded quickly to serve millions of new uh, inhabitants. Um, that's of course exactly the opposite of, of good city planning. ABB is a company with an enormously rich history and with a long, long history in sustainability. We're a global technology leader with over 110,000 employees in more than 100 countries. Today, we basically fo focus on electrification, automation and digitalization for industry, transport and infrastructure segments. Uh, we recently just launched our new 2030 sustainability targets. And we really want to step up the game in terms of the impact we can have on the world. Of course, we want to lead by example as a company. So we are targeting carbon neutrality in our own operations. And very importantly, we have also a, a numerically articulated target for how much we will be able to help our customers reduce their emissions. For many, many years, we have a strong history of really engaging with the communities where we are active. We do this along three articulated uh, pillars, one being education, where we have a very strong link to our technology focus. One is around diversity and inclusion, which is a key uh, target objective and pillar for in our 2030 sustainability strategy. And one is really care for communities, where we have seen a lot of great efforts by the team across the globe during this very difficult year. Climate change is posing a number of challenges, challenges to the cities, for example. Uh, you, you see an increased uh, level of extreme weather conditions, more frequent natural disasters, flooding, storms, uh, droughts, uh, and all that is really posing a real problem to the city's infrastructure, to, to the infrastructure for energy, for water, for communications. So we need very efficient uh, crisis management strategies to be put in place and also to manage the asset health in quite an efficient way. Of course, water is a, is a big issue, simply because the climate change has such a huge impact on the water cycle. The run of water to megacity and the risk of really catastrophic flooding uh, is, is increasing. In Asia, countries really struggle with different weather extremes. Bangkok itself has, of course, its own problem. We experience very high temperature and long summers, which means that each household increased uh, in electricity consumption by turning on air conditioning. Well, the main problem in its um, water system is the water leakages in the water distribution system. And Bangkok has um, over 30,000 kilometers of pipeline networks. So that uh, is very difficult to manage. Around the year 2000, MWA had uh, big water loss problems of uh, 40%, so they initiated a program called Water Loss Reduction Program. And um, at that time, they hired 
Thames Water to reduce non-revenue water from 40% to 30%. And when Thames Water operated, they introduced ABB flow meters in order to reduce water losses in each of their district metering areas. So we work on different aspects. Uh, like uh, asset management and condition monitoring where we use digital technologies uh, to make sure that we know uh, the health of all the equipment everywhere and that we can detect very quickly if there are uh, anomalies or issues. That's uh, valid for the electrical uh, grid equipment, uh, but also for water infrastructure, for example, measuring uh, the flow of water, measuring uh, level of water. We, ha we have a number of products uh, tailored for the water measurement. ABB products are very reliable and with a proven technology, our customers are confident that they're receiving good quality products from ABB. Big water network and distribution system should look into this initiative in order to conserve rare commodity like water and uh, effectively and efficiently manage uh, the use of water. Finally, about sustainability overall, for us this is really about helping to do something better overall, to be part of something bigger. That's why we always put a straight link to everything that we do to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We engage with our customers, with our suppliers and partners, our employees, the communities where we are active, but also the public sphere. Collaboration is everything when we talk sustainability at ABB, because to achieve a sustainable tomorrow, it really takes all of us.